traditional Japanese Rakugo comic storyteller, Katsura Sunshine. <laughs> Rakugo is a 400-year-old tradition of Japanese comic storytelling that originated in the Edo period. I move my head left, I'm playing one character. I move my head right, I'm playing a character. And every story ends in a punchline. In many ways, Rakugo is ancient Japan's answer to stand-up comedy. Katsuara Sunshine, he performed at Japan Day in Central Park last Sunday, and he also performed at the Japan Society last night. It is all going to be part of the new NHK World Series, Dive into Ukuye-e. If I pronounce that right. It starts next month on NHK World, and it runs through October, and Sunshine is kind enough to join us now. I'm sorry if I butchered some of the pronunciations. I did my best. That was perfect. <laughs> First of all, Give a little explanation um, as to what this art form is, because as I mentioned before, in many ways, especially for the Edo period, this was kind of stand-up comedy, right? Yes, I mean, you could call it sit-down comedy. It's a 400-year tradition of Japanese comic storytelling, and it consists of a, a lone performer who wears a kimono, sit, kneels on a cushion, and uses only uh, the fan and the hand towel for props and recites a story. And it's very character-based, the story. There's not, it's, when, you hear, when you think of storytelling, you think of once upon a time there was and the narrator's main. But right. what's interesting about Rocco, it's all, it's all conversation. There's almost no narration. A lot of them start with someone knocking at the door, for instance, like, hello, konnichiwa, anybody home? Oh, I was wondering who it was. It's you, come on over, come on over. I was talking to your mother and she's very, very upset. Why is my mother upset? Because you don't want to work. You don't want to keep a job. Don't you think it's time you started working for a living? I'd love to work if I could find a job that was good for me and you figure out the situation from the conversation. Give an idea what people are going to see on NHK in a, in a special starting next month and then going through the fall. Right, so Rakugo storytelling started in the Edo period in Japan, and there's this other art form called ukiyo-e, then there are woodblock prints, which were also popular in the same period. And these prints are actually more famous than Rakugo out, uh, in the West. The Impressionist painters, for, mm -hmm. such as Van Gogh, w lo were in love with these prints and, and, and copied, copied some of them as well and learned from them. So I'm bringing out the stories of the woodblock prints in a Rakugo storytelling style, which entails a little bit of light humor added to some interesting background uh, explanation of these wonderful prints. And I certainly appreciate a few minutes with you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Absolutely. My pleasure. And that's going to do it for us tonight here. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. as always. Till then.